Hey guys, welcome to my channel, La La Riri Jury. I am Renelle, and this is going to be another weekend vlog. Today is Friday, July 21st, and this weekend I'm going to be doing a pop-up shop at Esplanade Mall, so I'm just going to be showing you guys um, my experience doing the pop-up shop at Esplanade Mall. It's going to be my first time doing it. And um, I'll be selling um, my handmade jewelry that I make, La La Riri Jewelry. I will be selling that. And I'm just trying it out this weekend and see, see and seeing how it goes. Um, I really hope that it go goes really well. And then it'll be something that I will continue to do. But for right now, I'm just going to see how it's going to go as far as... um this first try this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. But other than that, um, I got off from work today. I had to run a couple of errands and I had to go while well, I went and visited my mom and, um, my niece and my nephew over at her house. Well, my parents' house. And then I also went and visited my, um, best friend. I had to drop off some jewelry that I repaired for her um for her um aunt so that's what I did so far and now I just had to do a couple of things to get ready for this weekend for the pop-up shop um I have to price a couple of um pieces of jewelry and just pack everything up so that it's ready for tomorrow but I did um, order some business flyers from Vistaprint, and I'll show you guys how that looks. And then also I got some shirts made um, just with my logos on it, also from Vistaprint. And I made a mistake by having my order come to my apartment again. Because if you guys watch my story time about somebody stealing my packages that's coming to my apartment you guys will understand more but anyhow I got my Vistaprint order it came to my apartment and somebody basically opened my package and I guess they saw that it was nothing but flyers in it and two t-shirts that I got for my business and they just went ahead and put it back in front of my door but it's but I came home and my package was just sitting in front of my door um open. So yeah. I've been getting all of my other packages sent to my parents' house. Um but I just I've ordered from Vistaprint before and I didn't have a problem with um my package is coming to my apartment before because I've been living here for a while. And I don't know, just recently I can't order anything and have it come in here because somebody is basically either stealing my packages or going into my packages and looking and seeing what it is. And if it's not something that they want, they're just um, putting it back but leaving the packages um, open. And I feel very violated by this. It's not right for anybody to go in your mail and steal it or just look in into it and look and see if it's something that they can steal. Like, it's just really not, it's really not right. But all I can do is just not, um, not have packages come to my apartment because my apartment is just, it's not like a, apartment complex is just one single building and it's not like an office or anything where I can have my packages sent so I just try to um send all of my packages to my parents house but um I just made a mistake and had it sent to my house because I just ordered it and and went through with it because I already ordered other items before from Vistaprint but Anyhow, I don't want to keep rambling on and on about that, but I'll show you guys how they left my package this time. 
but I just had to do a better job with not um having anything sent to my apartment. So these are the shirts that I got done at Vistaprint. Um, for now, I just ordered two of them. But this is how it looks open and that's the other one in a bag. And then these are the business flyers that I got made. And then they came with um, envelopes. And then I'll just be using this uh, sequence tablecloth. I got that from Amazon. And then this is it's um it's zipped up, but it's a um a duffel bag, and I'll be using that to put um my items in uh to transport it to the mall. And I also ordered that from Amazon. And so this was my Vista Print uh box, and. This is basically how I got it um, from in front of my door. It was already open, just like you see. And basically, what they did is just, they already opened my box. The tape and everything was open. The box was just slid in. It was slid in like that. And that's exactly how it looked in, in front of the door. And basically, I didn't have to open it at all. All I did is this, and the package was open. And, I mean, I'm not an idiot to know that UPS wouldn't send me a package like that already open. So, since I had this problem before, and if you guys watched the story time that I did, you would understand a little bit better. But since I had this problem before... I know that um somebody just went into my package again and maybe it wasn't the people that um that I thought it was because they actually moved out so it has to be somebody else that's going into my packages but like I said I'll just have to do a better job with not having anything come into my apartment. But anyhow, that's the items that I got from Vistaprint. And they had a semi-annual sale going on. So I got everything 50% off. So that was pretty good. And so for the rest of the night, I would just be um, pricing jewelry and also just packing everything up for tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so my day started off kind of um, on a bad start. I woke up really late um, this morning. I wanted to wake up at about 7.30 and I didn't wake up until 8.40, almost 9 o'clock. And I was supposed to be selling from, I believe, 10 to 6. And I had to get ready and all of that stuff. And, um... I basically last night I finished pricing everything but then I got tired I was doing that until like 3 in the morning and um I still needed to like pack it in my bags and stuff so I had to do that and get dressed and stuff this morning so it's about 10 30 now and I'm headed over there um I just have to find where the office is to turn in my contract and then also my fee to uh, sell and then I'll start setting up and all of that stuff so I'm a bit behind on schedule but I can't do anything about that at this time so yeah I'm just gonna move forward and hopefully today's go today goes um really well but I'll be letting you guys know how it goes so y'all, I made it there and I made it to the section and everything and I went to pay the lady my fee or whatever and I had cash to pay her and she was like, I had to pay her with a money order or a check. So now I have to leave and go and find somewhere to get a money order. 
so that's gonna push me even more behind so yeah today is really not going too well so far but that's okay it's gonna be okay so that's what's going on right now I had to leave the mall I'm happy I didn't lug all of my stuff in there because then I would have had to bring it all back to the car so at least that's a good thing that when I went in there I just went to hand her the paperwork and hand her the money and then I was just gonna come back to my car and get the rest of my stuff but um anyhow I'm just happy that I didn't go through bringing it all in there because it is like heavy and a lot of stuff to carry and then I'm by myself so I had to do everything by myself so at least I'm happy that I didn't bring that stuff in there because then I would have had to bring it back to the car and then bring it back in there again but yeah I gotta find somewhere to get a money order which really sucks but uh, it's probably my fault because it probably was on the contract that I had to pay for, with a money order or I probably should have asked that to oh well so y'all I'm leaving CVS now that took freaking forever because the lady didn't know how to do a money order she had to call somebody else then at the same time she's trying to do a refund for somebody else and she had that poor woman waiting forever for the refund because that poor lady was in line longer she was wait had been waiting before i even got in the line but then once she called somebody up for help she's trying to figure out how to do my money order but then stopping at the same time trying to figure out the refund situation for the other lady so that just took like forever but I just don't know what's going on this morning like it's just not going right at all and like I don't know everything this week has been going pretty good um but yeah today is just not going that great it started off with me waking up really really late and making it to the mall late then I go there with cash I had to get a money order that took forever and now it's like 11 20 and I should have already been set up and all of that stuff already so yeah I am still gonna hope for the best, but I don't know. This morning just really started off pretty rocky. But hopefully I recover from that the rest of the day and hopefully it goes smoothly with everything else, but yeah. So yeah, I'm headed back to the mall now and I will be back to let you guys see my setup and to let you guys know how everything goes um definitely tomorrow should go much better because I already have everything ready and I'm already paid up so I won't have to go through that again tomorrow at least so tomorrow should be much better that much I can see so I'll see you guys later and then also I did ask the lady if um, she had any spots open for next weekend because it is getting close to um, for school to start back up. So I was trying to get um, a spot for next weekend because the mall will probably be, um, well it's not even probably, the mall will be very busy next week because um, that's the weekend before school starts um because school will be letting back in um pretty much in another week um 
um because I know like my niece and my nephew they'll be starting back school on August um on August 4th so I was trying to see if that was available but she actually said that it wasn't that she already had two people scheduled for next weekend but I did do an application with another place that called me back um they gave me a call Thursday I was at work and I couldn't call them back but they did leave a voice message and let me know that they accepted my application so I'm gonna give them a call Monday and I'll probably um, look into doing that um, as far as next weekend at that other place because I just kind of want to feel myself out at different places and see how it goes and get locked into like one place or maybe two different places and do it consistently on the weekends and uh, just basically see how that goes to get um, a consistent place or whatever. But that's just what I got going on. So I made it back to the mall and I'm about to head back in now. So I have everything set up now. I will show you guys how it looked, but I just had to take a seat and kind of catch my breath for a little bit because I'm tired. Um, because of course, like I told you guys, I started off late, so I had to rush and hurry up and get everything set up, but I have it set up now and I'll let you guys see how it looks. So you guys, I guess um, this lady is trying to get her lawsuit going or something like that. So like I said, it was raining outside and I guess it's like a leak. <clears throat> Sorry, it's like a leak in the ceiling or whatever in the mall. And it was like already a bucket like catching the water and it also had a wet floor sign down. But, and I've been sitting over here in my section or whatever and I like looked at the whole thing go on. Like the woman, she saw the water on the floor or whatever with the bucket and a wet floor sign and it was like she looked at it for a while and then she slipped or whatever pretty much on purpose so now like the mall security and stuff like that is over there with her but she like totally set up the whole thing so they're like writing a report and stuff like that I guess she's trying to get her little lawsuit going on or whatever but that's just funny or whatever um it's pretty entertaining selling in the mall um one annoying thing is people keep asking me where our stores are in the mall which i really should have already expected that because i worked in a mall for many many years and that's just how people are they just ask you where things are or whatever and it's like i'm not working in this mall i'm just doing my little pop-up shop or whatever and people keep asking me what stuff is yeah that's kind of annoying but it's pretty entertaining being in here or whatever people are pretty funny so that's helping my time go by or whatever and um i don't know if i mentioned or not on this video i don't think i did um this section that I'm selling in, it was only like $50 a day. So, it hasn't been too busy so far, but I did make a couple of sales. So $50 is pretty easy to, to make back. And it's $50, it was $50 a day, so I did $100 for the Saturday and the Sunday. So either way, I'll pretty much make that back. That'll be pretty easy to make back, but I don't know pretty I don't I'm not sure how much I'm gonna do overall because it is kind of slow in here um but it is pretty entertaining um I probably will do this again just because I'm enjoying it <laughs> I've been talking to a lot of people just giving out business cards and stuff like that so that would always bring future business anyway but it's just been pretty entertaining so I'll get back with you guys later and let you know how things are going again. But yeah, I'm just being entertained by this lady that 
slipped and fell on the floor on purpose. It's pretty funny. So guys, I'm now done for the day. Um, I started picking up my stuff um, at about 7.15ish. Um, the mall closes at 9, but I really have to pee and I was by myself so of course um I couldn't leave like my stuff just sitting there unattended to so um after not peeing all day since this morning I decided to go ahead and pick up my stuff and um call it a day um I did okay I didn't do that great um like I said the mall was pretty slow um I actually am gonna try to come back next week just the um the section that I was in today is not available for next week so the lady um that's like over that type of stuff at the mall was saying that um maybe she can set up some tables or whatever um in a like in the upstairs uh, part of the mall so I'll probably try to do it next week, next weekend also because um, it will be like back to school weekend and it should be a lot busier um, next weekend. But like I said, it's only $50. So I really, I made the $50 or whatever. I didn't make too much more than that. But I mean, when you have a business, you just have to invest in your business until you get it to the point um, where you want it to be. So I pretty much have an understanding of that. Um, and I'm just happy. I'm happy with sometimes as long as um, I get good feedback about my jewelry, which I always pretty much do. Um, and as long as I at least make the money that I put into doing things. I'm happy with that. I'm not content with that, but I'm happy to make um, at least what I've invested into something and it wasn't a big investment because like I said, it was only $50 to um, sell. And a lot of times at other events, they like to charge you like $250 for one day for maybe four hours or something like that and you you would pay like $250 fees with certain um people who put on fashion shows and all kind of stuff like that and most of the time they don't even have the traffic coming in and you're not very likely to even make your money back so I can't be mad you know with the $50 that's that's pretty that's more than reasonable so but um I like the atmosphere of selling in a mall it was a lot of people um and it was just interesting it made it a fun day it wasn't like boring or whatever so I pretty much enjoyed it I wish I would have made more sales of course but with doing vending, you just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you end up kind of in the middle, and that's how I am. Um, hopefully, t tomorrow will be better. Um, because it did start raining really bad today, and I don't know if that stopped people from coming out. Like, it was a, a storm, and it got pretty bad in some areas. Like, some areas um, flooded, and had some hell storms and all kind of stuff like that so the weather did get really really bad um and maybe that's the reason why the mall was super super slow and then that mall is kind of slower than the other malls also in this um area so um yeah but overall it was pretty cool I'm, I'm okay with the experience I was saying so I'm about to head home right quick and just uh, use the bathroom I am hungry but I had to run by my parents house for something
but I'm not gonna stay over that long. I'm just gonna get what I had to get and um go back home and eat and just relax for the rest of the day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. I'm on my way out the door. I'm doing much better with timing and everything today because um, by being Sunday, the mall doesn't open until 12, so it's 11 right now, so I should be doing much better today as far as my timing, because yesterday I was all, like, out of whack because I woke up late, but I woke up early this morning, I just did some things around the house, and now I'm pretty much ready to go, and I have on my fan earrings, and this, uh set with uh bracelets that i already showed you guys this set before and then i just have on my lala riri shirt that i got made um through vista print that i showed you guys earlier on this video so i'm about to head out and i will let you guys know how today goes and today it's another rainy day so that's not really a good thing because people don't tend to come out in the rain, so yeah. Hopefully today is today goes well, but so hopefully today goes well, but you never know. Um but I guess we'll see. So this is my setup for today. It's been uh extremely slow today like extremely 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 slow <laughs> but it, my setup looks really nice but y'all when i tell you it's been so dead like extra extra dead This is a close-up on my jewelry. And this little table with my flyers and stuff. And yeah, it's the entire mall. The whole mall is like extremely slow. So yeah, I guess better luck next time. But let me give you a whole view of the emptiness <laughs> in the mall. <laughs> and this is my bestie, Janae. So slow. Not a soul in sight. This is just pretty bad, y'all. So yeah, that's how the day is going. Better luck next time. Hey guys, so I just made it home. Today was a total bust. Um, I didn't make any sales at all today. And like you guys saw, the mall was extremely slow. Now, I'm going to try that mall next weekend. Because like I said, um... It's going to be the weekend before school starts. A lot of schools are going to be going back on August 4th. So it should be very packed with people getting school stuff um, next weekend. So with that being a busy time, I'm going to try it next weekend. And if it's still not successful next weekend with it being busy and with it having a lot more traffic in the mall, I'm definitely going to move on at that point to something else. And I did do an application for somewhere else and they called me on Friday. So I'm probably going to call them back tomorrow, which is Monday, and set up a weekend just to try that out. But pretty much what I'm doing right now is just trying out different places and finding the best fit for my business where I would make a lot of sales or whatever. But today was a total bus um but it was only fifty dollars a day so it wasn't like i lost a whole lot of money i'm still sad to lose my hundred dollars pretty much but i have done events where i paid 
$250 and didn't make any sales. And the events had, like, nobody even pretty much there. So, it's just with a business, you have to just try different things until you find the right thing that's going to work for you. And basically, that's what I'm doing. Um, I believe in my products that I sell. Um, I get really good feedback on it as far as people liking it. So, I just have to find the right place for me to sell it and things are going to eventually get better but today was not good at all but my friend ended up coming and we talked and stuff so I mean it was cool I still had a good time um I really didn't have anything else to do this weekend so I mean it was cool it was something to do this weekend I didn't have anything else planned but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take my bath and stuff because I'm excited to watch TV tonight. It's Sunday, so I'm going to watch Power. Insecure comes back on. I love that show. So I'm going to watch that. And also Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones came back on last weekend. So this will be the second episode of this season. So I'm about to kick back and relax and watch TV. So thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys have any suggestions or whatever, any comments, um, please leave comments. If you would like to buy any of my jewelry, check out my websites. If you see something in this vlog that you like that I don't have posted on my websites, you can send me an email and I can make that available to you. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.